today my we or my parents will be tasting the reserve Merlot named after me. They tell me that the wine is really great, but I haven't had any myself, so I have to take their word for it. Sounds like you've had some. You've got pickups <laughs> already. Like Thanks, Hallie. Thanks, you can't Hallie. sit next to your mummy over there. Um, so I'm Dave from Cherry Tree Hill, the owner and general manager. This is my lovely wife, Annie. She's going to be helping me out with the tasting today. Um, she's got a lovely, really, really good palate, so she should be able to help you out with some insights into the wine. Well, oh, don't put that pressure on me, darling. <laughs> You'll be all right. So this is a 2014 um, Reserve Merlot. So put a bit in your glass there, bud. Thank you. So we're using reed or glasses here today to taste this wine. They're quite large reed or glasses. Uh, I think they're probably for Shiraz, but we're using them for Merlot today. Um, so with the wide glasses, you get quite a lot more out of the aromas of the wine. Um, before we look at the aromas, let's just have a look at the colour. So, probably easy if we put it against a white background. Yeah, it's good if you put it, you can sell the colour quite well if you put it against a white background. So what do you think about the colour there, Annie? Yeah, I think, um, look, it's different to the vibrant purple colour that it was when we first bottled it. It's really mellowed into that lovely, um, more um, on the scale, on a brownish reddish scale. Um, which is totally normal. It's got a bit of age to it, so you get a little bit. I think almost of... six years, isn't it? It's 2014, yeah, so you get that just towards the edge, it just gets a little bit thin and um, just um, looks like it's going to smell quite musty and a bit of age characters to it. Let's have a look at the also, other one. Oh, you can also see those lovely legs, darling, which is what they um, refer to um, yeah, the as viscosity, viscosity yeah. of the wine, which is another thing that happens, as you know, as it ages. So on the nose, um, it's... Um, I get cherries, I tend to get cherries in quite a lot of the wines I smell from Cherry Tree Hill. Um, cherries and plums, like most, most Merlots you can smell and taste, taste a bit of plum characters too. What do you think about the, the aromas, Annie? Yeah, definitely. I can definitely smell like a cherry or a blackcurrant kind of jelly that I used to have as a child. Oh yeah? So definitely like a blackcurrant jelly. Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and I also can smell a little bit of, I think it's black pepper or it could be soy sauce. It's like a spiciness there. Or yeah, it's salty, that's good. Um, it's amazing the different smells people get out of the wines. Everyone, everyone's different, and especially on the palate, we've all got different palates. So, but um, we'll have a look what this tastes like for our palate. Mm. Oh. That side palate's amazing. Really mm. lingers down the, um, down the length of the tongue. Really strong tannins there. Um, we use a couple of different types of oak for this wine, um, but there is some Hungarian oak in here, so. Hungarian oak's really good for the like lighter varieties like Merlot. Um, it's quite doesn't overbear the fruit quite as much. Um, I think it's where we're getting that um, black pepper spiciness as well. Yeah, like definitely. Well, that that's, that's yeah, you get spicy undertones and it doesn't overbear the fruit as I said. Um, what do you think about the palate, Annie? It's got a lovely, um, long, smooth finish. Yeah. There's definitely some tannins there, but they're definitely not overpowering. It's quite balanced. What sort of, I, you're still getting that plum. I can still taste the plum sorry. and the black currency kind of yeah. cherry flavours. Um, still lingering on my palate even now, so that's quite good length. Um, yeah. to and still still yep. <laughs> yeah, no more wine for you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so this is the third vintage of, of Reserve Merlot that we produced, uh, 2014. The first one was the year that Halle was born in 2009, and then we had 11 vintage, but this has definitely got the most fruit out of any of those three vintages. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as I said, Merlot is quite a light, approachable wine, um, especially from the highlands, so we're 720 metres above sea level where the vineyard is, so all the red wines and even the whites, you have quite more soft, approachable wines, not really heavy, you stick to the back of your neck stuff, so it's, it's really lovely, interesting and drinkable wine. Yeah, yeah I think we'll definitely be uh, drinking the rest of this with a little bit of cheese later on. That's a great idea, mate. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Well, hopefully we've helped you out with a few have insights this one. Do you cheers, Dad? I do have to drink after a cheers, you're right. You're right, Helen. Still good. Mm. 2014 Reserve Merlot, named after Hallie.